Welcome to my Project Eden series for Imperium Galactic Survival. And at the moment, I'm stood on the bridge of my capital vessel. And in this part, what I want to do is get up into space because I've realized that I'm getting a little bit short on Promethium. And I, just, I don't seem to be able to find the Promethium on this planet. So what I want to do is get up into space, see if we can find a Promethium asteroid. And if necessary, we'll try and go and visit the moon on this planet. But first, I want to do something which some of you guys are going to absolutely hate. But And this is what happens with when, when you guys leave comments. You, you make me think. And this is actually a comment from Stephen Dinocenzo, who actually said that he had been looking at the... Uh, was it the Centaur MT? I can find it. Here it is here by Jeff Randall. And he said, this is a new hover tank that's been upgraded for um, Reforged Eden. So what I did is I went in and subscribed to it and I took a look at it in creative mode. And I really do like it. It's level 12. So it's compatible with the Kakanikos, but at the same time, it's got a little bit more clout and it's, and it's more suited for um, attacking um, heavy POIs. So what I'm going to do, and some of you guys are going to hate it, especially as the fact that I've only just built the Kakanikos, is I'm going to strip down some of this stuff here because if I show you the workshop here, what if I get into if we go to the workshop here, you can see I need two small optronics bridges. I mean, the rest of the resources are pretty good, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the stuff out of the Kakanikos because I can't really operate oh, i suppose i could operate with two hover tanks the real problem is the optronics bridges and what i'm thinking is that i can take out the upgrades where are they here these t3 extenders and put them in the workshop i might be able to get away with the being able to recycle these small things so what i'm going to do is we're just going to i'm going to retrieve these I mean, this may not work and it could be a bit embarrassing but <laughs> that's the way it is so what i'm going to do is just come in here i'm going to drop these in here yeah we've got the two optronics bridges and the other so we've now got that out of there i do need to take out the pentaxid tank but i'm not going to put that into the thing i also want the med station i also need to take out the fuel from here i've got a pile of fuel let me just see this needs to go into capital vessel operational needs up to 3466 so we're going to take out everything from there i think what we'll do is we'll just leave the rest of the ship here for the moment until unless i can see see if i can get what i need see what i can do is see if i can get what else i need from here this I want to keep because I'm going to need this for the, the new ship. We've got some spare type of resources here. I could put in, I've got a wireless connector. Let's just put some of this stuff in actually. A full, small fuel tank. I mean, I do really need to sort some of this stuff out. So I can pull in some of that. Got loads of cargo boxes. I do really need a tidy up anyway. Got 28 fuel tanks. <laughs> Actually, I don't think we need that many um, CV fuel tanks. It's the med stations. O2 station. We've got a cockpit here uh, for an SVHV. I think I can drop that in as well. Got loads of thrusters as well, which, I mean, I think we're going to put some combat steel blocks in as well. As I say, some of you guys are going to absolutely hate this, but <laughs> it doesn't make a contribution. This should make a big difference. Yeah, look at that. That takes me way well past the iron ingots. I'll just drop these in one at a time. Fit in. We'll just drop all those in, actually. Just really need copper and silica. Very reluctant to kind of throw these thrusters away. I'd like to keep those as spares. Anything else that can I get out of here? Basic factory unit. We've got some decor consoles. Might be able to well, this get rid of. Uh, got some SV landing gear. I want to keep the tier three fuel tanks. 
row plots. We've got those big thrusters there. We've got the HV docking pads, which I took off. Anything else here? Got some force fields, armored windows. I'd rather keep those. Some shutter doors here for the CV. I think we'll put those in as well. I'm just kind of pushing this up a little bit. And I think we're just going to finish off the rest with. We need some carbon substrate. Carbon substrate always seems to be a little bit out there. Wow, we've got no carbon substrate. And I don't have that much, so we're going to have to make some carbon substrate. No, oh, ah. of course it's. Uh, we're going to have to do it this way. I'm going to need about 500. So I put 10, 20, 30 in there. So I may have to take this ship apart, but I think in some ways, if I take it apart and keep most of the components, I can use those for ongoing repairs. <laughs> that was last words. And what was it we needed? Copper, silicate, silicate, and cobalt, I think is what I needed, wasn't it? Carbon, no, just carbon substrate, so. Flip that. I mean, I can always replace this stuff a bit later on. Oh, a little bit too far there. Okay. Splitting. So we've got that over there. All we need now is the carbon, the substrate. Put that in there. Not there too small. Struct it out. So we've got the small optronics bridges to do the upgrade, which later on. 220. I need more than that, don't I? Oh, it's still going. What we're going to do is just leave that for the moment and we're get down to the moment. It looks like we've destroyed uh, another, um, what we call it, ice golem. Let's just have a look around and see where he, if we can see him. There he is. Really nice close by. We might also get him for the rare resources. A little bit more Promethium and Safium. I mean, this is the good thing about a coal planet is that you can pick up all these fairly rare resources back into the ship. We need something to eat. No. We'll just put this in, construct it in. Neodymium ne really needs some sarcosium as well. I think somebody posted a comment saying that uh, they had problems. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. They had they had problems with sarcosium. And sarcosium is probably one of the harder elements to find in the game. So what we're going to do now is just jump in the ship, turn the thrusters on, and it's time to go up into space. I think probably we'll get a faster ascent rate if we rise and move forward. Sometimes you get a little bit of an edge. You see, if I'm just rising directly, the, the, the ascent is slower. If you get a little bit of extra kind of forward momentum, you get a little bit of a kind of shove forward. Now, there is a certain amount of risk associated with this. I won't deny that, because if we get into space, we could run into some opposition that we're not really equipped to deal with. So we're up in space here. I mean, ideally, I would also like a let's find a trading station in here. Let me just see. So we got some asteroids around, and there's something 
over there. We've got a Polaris trading station there. I think that could be worth a shot. So we're going to head in that direction. Just get a bit of momentum. Then we'll just press that. There's something showing about 12 kilometers away, which could be fun. So we're going to head for the Polaris trading station. Actually, while I'm flying across, I've just had a bit of a thought. I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, do on that. Let's see. map. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a planet we can visit simply because I don't really want to. I want the ability to cop out should I need it. Epsilon is, it looks like it's a gas giant. Epsilon 3 was. Epsilon, looks like Epsilon 3 might not be. Get information going here. Always seems to be a bit kind of uh when well, we could go to purgatory, that's one of the hard starts. We've got a planet here that's uh this is this medium undiscovered. This is an arid dry planet. Put another cold planet over here. This is Epsilon 5. There's and we do have a requirement to go to Epsilon 2. I think what we'll do is we're just going to lock that target. Now, I'm going to be completely honest, I'm not saying I'm going to go there. But what I want to do is just have that option available. So that if we suddenly run into something like a big frigate, we can actually bug out. I know it's a bit of uh, cowardness, but... That's the way it's going to go. It's going to take me a little while to get to the Polaris trading station. But we've got a, an asteroid or something just in front of us there. So we'll head for that asteroid there. And I'll see you once I actually get there. So here we are. We're just coming up against the near Divium asteroid. What we'll does get in any close like this? And we'll just kind of pull up. Kind of almost so that we're touching it. Like that. There we are. So I've just kind of run into it. Can afford to take the thrusters off. I'm going to have to be a little bit careful because um, we should have the environmental protection. Of course, because I've got no. Ha, thing. We're going to have to kind of float up now. Yeah, I'm just going to jump into the ship. Power on. What we're going to do is we're going to use the our mining drills. Pick the neodymium up. This is the reason why I put these on. Oh, it's coming in. Firing out. Space drone. Ow. Okay, we're gonna have to. We don't have enough protection. What we're gonna have to do is. That's saying that. Yeah, I know I've got hypothermia. But I've got to try and land on my ship. And I'm freezing. Thrusters off. <laughs> we survived. <laughs> Let's just get here. What I'm going to need to do is put the EVA boost on to give me the extra, extra temperature protection. Yeah, it's a bit of a mistake there. But we'll be okay. Cross us back on. We've we been targeted by drones. Firing at base drone here. I think we're gonna have to try. 
get rid of him. This could be interesting. Okay, there's a we've actually destroyed this one. I think if it's just space drones, we'll be okay. In close. And we'll just grab that. Nice little rare resources here. I've lost my sh grab that. Oops, a daisy. Get back to what we were doing. It's, it's easier to actually do this in third person. You can hear the ship firing. You may not want to hang around here too long. Have a laser space drone over there. Okay, we've got opposition coming in. Being targeted. Um, okay, so maybe stopping that. Ah, wow, we're getting a lot of them coming in now. You're dead. You're dead. Ah, you're dead. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's just see if we can loot some of these guys. And to be honest, floating around in space isn't one of the better ways you can do things. There's another one over there. Um, I think we've probably got enough uh, near Dibium. Just see if we can get you. My own greed might get the better of me here. Oops, no. And get the loot. I think it might be a bit advantageous to get out of here. Um, my ship. What's my ship? It's not good. Not not good at all. Um, there it is. Up to go. Try and maneuver around here. And get into the same plane. The mistake I also made it was it shows how long since I've been up in space. Is I didn't actually orientate the capital vessel to the predominantly plane. There's another space drone coming in. Be back a bit. Jump out. Power off. Is on. Gotcha. Okay, where is the. Because, of course, one of the advantages of it being out in the space is you do get increased range with your uh, weapons systems, which is good. I want to stop this guy. Be able to do this. Oh, the fun of being out in space. <laughs> Where is it? Okay. Grab you. Oops, a daisy. Um. Her in. Let's grab that for the moment. Just shut this up. 
quickly into the cockpit. Around the scan. Try and find the. I certainly would like to reach the Laura's trading station, so we're just going to get out of here. Turn, turn the inertia drive off. And we're just going to head for the Polaris trading station. Hopefully if we get there we'll be safe. And what I'll do is I'll see you once we actually get there. So here we are, we're just coming up on the Polaris trading station. Let's see if we can orientate to it. Kind of gone up here. To come up onto it. Of course, we can't dock with it because we're too big. But hopefully, we will be able to get trading services. So, if we can orientate, that's it. We've got a orientation to it now. Oops, back up a bit. Don't want to upset them by crashing into it. Um, I think we'll just, if I can get alongside it, like that, you get in kind of really tight like that, it's going to decrease the efficiency of the weapons should I have any problems, but well, one thing I was going to do is empty this so we got 390 neodymium out of my I think what we'll do is we'll just go on to the space station first and see what find if we'll find a way in first I think I'm gonna spin round and orientate there's the airlock up there because we should turn round Got here in here. Level dock A hangar. Flight control. Oops. Market. There we go. Turn the jetpack off now. We should be level. There's the clinic. In here. See what they've got. Now in here. Hey, what you see, please show me. What's the latest news? Let's see what the latest news Okay, back. <laughs> what have we got to offer? I think what I could do, I mean, we could sell some stomach pills and adrenaline shots. I know we're not going to get a lot of money from it, but I mean, let me just see. I, uh, which one? See, I mean, I've got loads of these uh, stomach pills. I never really use them anyway. I can sell off a few of those. Of course, we got the sparkling wine as well. Mm. We can sell 21 of those. When it's only... Oops. Oh, wait. I thought I... Jackie, come on. Too many. Let me sell them in blocks of 10. Oh, we're selling bandages. I've just sold a whole load of bandages. Oops, a bit unfortunate. Never mind. Come on. Elbows. I mean, I can make loads of bandages anyway, so it's not like it's uh, the end of the world. Stomach pills. Oh, I'm put, yeah. Oh, it's hardly worth the effort, wasn't it? Never mind. Got tech over here. In here. Right, so let's just talk to this guy and see what he's got. Who was offer? He's got wow. He's got a whole range of stuff that I certainly want the magnesium powder. We're going to buy all of that. I'm, I'm always short of magnesium powder. But he wants pulse rifles, sniper rifles. 
I don't really want to lose my good weapons, so what we're going to do is we're going to come into here and I'm just going to put all my good stuff into here. That, that will ensure that I don't sell any of this by accident. Put that into there. We can come to the capital vessel. We've got some heavy weapons kits, and I think we'll see if we can sell some of these heavy weapons kits. We've got a projectile pistol. Structure out. Anything else? Actually, let's hook out. Let's do the heavy weapons kits first. And try and sell some of these because I can't see me wanting to upgrade these that too much. Oops. Not sure why those won't stack, but. Anyway. Well they stack that way. Okay. Oh we'll fill up. Ah, too much too much weight. We have to do this the hard way. Um, offers I'm sure I saw some. Okay. Um, heavy weapons. We sell five of those. Yes we can. That's gonna give me a nice big order of cash. What else we got here? A pistol upgrade kit. Oh, three of those. He only wanted two. Got some night vision goggles here we can offload as well. Um, rifle upgrade kit. Sell that. Laser. Laser upgrade kit. Oops. Sell that. Um, got here pistol upgrade kit. Done that with me. Projectile pistol. Here too. You see, I mean, this is good. Apologies, this is going to take a little while. I can't actually see anything else there. Just drop these back into here. Done that. We've got rifle upgrade kits. I don't know if we've got any more from that. Uh, we've got a shotgun kit. And I keep the sniper upgrade kit. Right, we're just going to move down to here. Yeah. Right, we'll just grab these. See how many uh, night vision goggles we can sell. Anything else here that. Grab some of those. Some sniper rifles. Kind of offload these into here. Just see how much we can actually sell. <laughs> I saw some night vision goggles here. How many of these would you buy? And we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. So five of those. Gonna give me some money. Got here. Start with the multi tools. I can't. No. He's not interested in any multi tools. Actually, I just noticed something here. I'm going to buy about 20 of those. Buy about 20 actually. I mean, it's not like we're actually getting a bit short of um, Got that there. So we sniper rifle tier 2. How many of those have we got? That or that. Got some more. Rocket launchers, no, rocket launchers, plasma cap. Laser pistols, we're going to sell that. Laser pistol tier 2, laser rifle. Some ways it's easier just to sell it this way. <laughs> Got a great kit, plasma blaster. Nope, so we can't. Um, we got here, just a simple projectile pistol tier 1. Nope. Back here. Like some of this stuff, I can't sell any multi tools or anything like that. Pop this into constructor one. Got the fridge, of course, we've got a thousand credits in there, but let's see what we can do. Out. Nothing in there. Building components, no. Nope. So we got a whole load of stuff in operational needs. Once we got here, we just put some of this stuff in here. 
I've got some tier 2 pistols, the sniper rifles. Maybe if we go for some of the tier 2 stuff, it, we might, well, the guy might be interested. Tier 2 rocket launcher, I'm kind of inclined to keep that. Pulse rifle, minigun. Okay, let's just have another little round of that, seeing what he wants. So we got a pulse rifle, let's well, sell that. Sniper rifle, no, he's not interested in that. Shotgun tier two. One, two, three. Those. Projectile pistol two tier two. One, two, three of those. This is a these are sniper rifles tier two. Um, no, he's not really interested in that. We got a minigun. Oops, I need to do that. Uh, sell the minigun as well. I'm not a big fan of miniguns. Pulse rifle. Nope. So I think that's about all we're going to sell weapon wise. We haven't done too bad. Uh, we'll just stop got that there. Actually, I've got a couple of flamethrowers. I don't need that many. I think I've also got one in the ammo. I'm sure I had one. Oh, we've got a minigun here as well. Just sell that there. There's a tier 2 projectile pistol there as well. Uh, flamethrower. I'm sure I saw a flamethrower in here. Yeah, there we are. Oh, look at those. Have a minigun. And. Uh, Two, two. That gives me about sixty-three thousand. Read that. So, what are you offering? What you got to offer? Mm, Nano tubes, electronics, bridges. Well, not. Extra tool, color tool, night vision goggles. Okay, <laughs> we might be able to sell some more of those night vision goggles. There's one in there. Um, um, those. Are you interested in any multi tools? Well, drills or what else are you? Let's see what else we can sell off. Um, we got rid of the night. When I mean, I've got a few jetpack extensions, but I'd rather hang on to them at the moment. Need magnesium in here, yes. But always take the maximum magnesium because. That is quite rare, and it's quite difficult to find it on the ground. I don't need that. Multi charges. Okay. Yeah, got a tier two multi tool. I don't think I've got one. Sell that. Oh, we managed to get rid of three tier two multi tools. That's. Give him, got me 78,000 and I think that's about all we can get from here not interested in the bar what's down here got general store over here I think Let's figure out what this guy's got for sale Okay, we've got some more stuff here. Magnesium powder, we'll take that. Uh, flamethrower fuel. I wouldn't mind buying some of that as well. I'm going to buy about, say, about 20. Okay, well, actually, we can buy all of it, actually. It's quite, quite cheap, actually. So we'll, we'll buy the flamethrower fuel. We've got, this is a bit more basic. So he's got multi tools. Haha. <laughs> this can go in the. Ammo, this can go in. Back to in. Back to 
any controller ammo. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See how many of these we can offload. I'm gonna keep some of this. Got a multi-tool here. We'll just make sure we keep uh uh, we'll keep the tier two. <laughs> uh, okay. We can sell off. Okay. Keep. This saves the trouble of trying to work out how many he actually wants. So we got chest guard pistol, shotgun, assault rifle, sniper rifle. Sell the sniper rifle. Yeah, tier 2 sniper rifle, laser rifle, assault rifle, shotgun, assault rifle tier 2, sell the pistol if he wants it, another sniper rifle, get rid of the projectile pistol, I'm never, never going to use it, but if I ever use a projectile pistol it would be a tier 2, Okay, I think that is about enough. Just think again. Up the sniper rifle. A couple of bows. Laser rifle. He's not interested. Assault rifle. Not that. Got a gun. Not that. All the projectile pistols, we'll sell those. And that's a kind of almost about it, I think. Uh, we can buy some bandages to replace the ones I sold by accident. How many have we got? That's uh, about, uh, about 30 of them. I mean, I've got over 90,000 now. So they can go back to there. And that's not bad, actually. We'll just have a little bit more of a walk around and see. I think we've covered all the main areas now. So I think overall we did pretty well with this. What I'm gonna do now is find the way out this way. It's gonna drop down into here. This should yep, yeah, and the hangar deck. Um gotta find the way out now. I'm always getting lost in these places. There we are. Turn the jet back on. And um, what I'm going to do now is find my ship. That's Epsilon 4. Where, oh, where's my ship gone? I'll just take this off. My plants are still growing, so that's good. And I think overall we did okay. I mean, I probably could have sold a bit more, but I've got rid of a lot of the junk, which is exactly what I wanted to do. One thing we're gonna have to do is come back to here. Whoops, get rid of these um, bits. I'm just gonna put the weapon systems back in. And I'm sure we're gonna pick up plenty more later on. I think we've got an extra weapon from somewhere. Oh, that chainsaw. Okay. Aha. I'm gonna come there. Drop that there. Drop that there. Vessel constructor in. Just drop that in there. The other thing I want to do: constructor out. Um, you need to put that in there. One thing I haven't done yet is. Completed the. So we need. I want to get this done now. And we're going to start the production of this, the heavy set, heavy center. And I think just to finish the video off, we're going to kind of come into here. Thrusters on. Pull away from the base station, or trading station. Anything else around here that could be worth looking at. We got a uh, asteroid over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna we're just gonna go to this one asteroid and see what it is. Okay I've found another Neodymium asteroid which is probably not what I was looking for. Okay we're now stationary. 
and this is where i'm gonna leave it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting so we can either go to the moon or go on to epsilon 2 so this is where i'm gonna leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming